In this tutorial, we'll take a look at the uh, Boyd's particle system. It's powerful. Oh, it is. And you can do some cool things. So I have this object here has a particle system set with 3,900 or so particles. And instead of the default of Newtonian, I have it set to Boyd's. Okay, now in this case, let's just look at it without any objects attached. Let's look at it with a halo attached like this and run the animation. And so here the Boyd's are cranking out. It's because I have the airspeed cranked up. Normally it's way down here, but I'll just put it down about like this. And then they come out in a nice random fashion. Unlike when I did a preview, if you use the uh, explode modifier that we've done before, where we simulated an explosion and timed the particle when it hit another one, and then you made it explode. Well, those came out in a linear fashion, whereas the Boyd's comes out you know, in this nice random fashion. So this can make for nice explosive effects or other type of effects as well and it's it's really nice so now a couple little tricks you can do if you add a particle to the scene I mean an object to the thing here I, I've added this sphere now to it like this and but when it gets outside of the light you'll notice it just becomes these outlined shapes and that can be pretty cool in and of itself and the reason why is because I have those selected if I didn't have it selected it wouldn't do that. There was the plane selected there. So that works if I'm in the light like this. But you can see it gives some pretty cool effects popping out like that. Now let's change the size down just a little bit. All right. So this, but now what we can do is let us go into the material of not of the object itself, but of the one that I'm attaching to the scene here. And this material I've got set instead of surface data I have set it volume data and the density is quite low you can just you can watch this here if I give density to zero there's nothing but I have it like 0.176 right in there and then over here for this uh, texture I have it set as voxel data and I've changed no other values on it now what this gives us the advantages of when we render where's my camera in the scene my camera should be back there it is pointing at that general direction like that so let's render that object well there it is rendered there but now let's render it with the particles coming out here and see what we get it's going to take a while because now what I'm asking it to do is render well, all right let's can that just for a second let's do it like this Let's bring it down here to so we just have a few couple. Well, that's not quite as many, but all right. Now we'll render it, and now you can see you have these cool, nice, you know, shaded surfacey things coming out of here. So you can make some cool, maybe gas kind of effects coming out of it. Of course, we would want to then let us. Um, Let's go back down to zero and then turn this this object we're not going to turn it off but we are going to just turn it into a nothing object so then when we render it there then we only have these objects displayed in the screen so let's crank up the density just a little bit more on this one here just a little bit not much I don't know, let's try that. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, yeah, well, maybe a little bit more. I mean, this is then it just comes down to experimentation. All right, well, that's it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.